get a set by Jared, Angelica Suffren, and Jeffrey Smith are your officials tonight from Indianapolis. Final game before the All-Star break. Alyssa Smith will launch and bury a three. Alyssa Smith, who had her best game of her career against Chicago. But you'd like to see the mindset from her here early on. Especially early. Uh, whenever she has an early quick start, I think that just kind of goes as the progress of the game. But she's kind of, you know, taking her. Uh, here for the fever as Vivian bounces. Here is Smith. Found inside to Engsler on the bounce. And had it blocked by Misa Min. Double drag. Double drag. Okay, then. Robinson trying to turn the corner, gets inside, and has it blocked by Parker. Straight away, Robinson off target on a three. Vivian comes skying in for the rebound. Smith will launch and bury a three. And how's this start for the number two overall pick? She's got all eight of Indiana scoring. Uh, she had back-to-back -back shots. Copper just runs over Mitchell, no whistle either way. And Copper lays it in. The Sky do not have a single player in the top 15 in points per game. They really get it done with balance. Talked about it earlier, they've had seven different leading scorers this year. Oh, but how about Nalissa Smith, who's putting on a show here in the first quarter? And not only is she taking control, but she's able, but her teammates are really doing a good job finding her, trying to get her a quick, easy bucket. Ender Sloot dropping it off to Parker, who's backing in on Emma Cannon. Parker putting on the move, draws the foul, and Parker the strong finish. She'll have Vivian's got back well defensively. Copper, a relentless attacker, hangs and scores. Yeah, her hang time. Is Here's Tiffany Mitchell getting her first action. Mitchell on the drive. Tough look for Mitchell through traffic. And there's Alyssa Smith to tap it in. He is an Indiana native and been a great find here for James Wade, who got her out of Dallas as Tiffany Mitchell pulls up and knocks it down. And James Wade has. Smith turns it over. Here's a three on one. Gardner running with Alamont. Great find. Back for Stevens. It's been that kind of night so far for the Fever. They missed a lot of looks that they normally hit underneath the rim. Here's Stevens, corner three. Book it. Can, but Julie Alamon was second. Wow. So the league's top two assisters from 2020. As Mitchell, beautiful find in for Engsler. She's able to finish inside. Emily Engsler who picked up those first couple of fouls. Yeah, Julie was definitely one of those players that just kind of surprised everybody. Not only was she able to share the ball, but she shot the ball at a very high rate too. Engsler staying aggressive. Engsler lays it in. Oh, you think she was ready to get back off the bench? Yeah. With her starting, it kind of looks like she got to get back into the flow, but her coming off the bench is, is really good. I've seen a lot of progression. Mitchell, the league six leading scorer, weaving her way through traffic. Oh, that was pretty for Mitchell. Thanks, they're already with four offensive rebounds as Misamit finds some space underneath. Mitchell, pull up three, right over Vandersloot. And, and I think they're all good shots. I think they're putting a lot of stress on the defense. Uh, they're just not falling. Uh, but because they're not hitting those shots, it's not really wavering their defense. But that was a, the best possession right there. But that was still uh, great intensity. Three fouls in nine minutes for Engsler, who, as you say, Bria, really gave Indiana a boost there. Miesemann on the drive, gets by Smith and lays it in. That's what makes Miesemann so tough. Mitchell fires and hits another. Oh, what a first half here for Kelsey Mitchell. She's hit four threes. As Indiana has that deficit back to single digits, trying to hold it here. Vandersloot on the drive. Beautiful find. Copper hangs and scores. A beautiful cut. Kalea Copper had six in the first half after a 28 perform point performance in Indianapolis on their last stop. And Emma Miesemann right back to work. Our clock did not reset here. It's at 10. Vandersloot, beautiful find inside. Cannon of the standings. Right. They can also clinch home court in that Commissioner's Cup game with a win here tonight over Indiana. 
But the Fever did overcome a 15-point second. She makes such a huge difference uh, with this Chicago team, and they're already good without her. But you add her to it, they are almost unstoppable. Tiffany Mitchell, corner three, got it to go. And Indiana's first scoring of the third quarter. The Fever has had a great night. 16 points as she continues just another prolific season. The Fever as a whole, haven't had it going on offense. Alec Quigley certainly has. She'll go to the line with an and one opportunity. Chicago has gone up by 20 here in a flash. Fever had it to 10 points at halftime as Mitchell draws the foul and connects. Yeah. Beautiful shot right there. Hopefully that kind of gets the things going. Smith is three of three from the three-point line. Indiana's been great from out there as Vandersloot scores on the other end. I mean, she's a great player. She does a great job in that pick and roll action. Uh, but she, here again, some minutes early, I think it's going to be nothing but help her career. Oh, Parker, what a find. And Vandersloot on the other end of that one. It's a great way to get in there, kind of expect the contact and, and finish that layup. Here is Parker stepping back and knocking it down. The smooth stroke of the 36-year-old two-time MVP, Candace Parker. Mitchell trying to outrun Alamond. Hanksler, beautiful bounce pass, and Mitchell somehow contorts her body and finds an angle. And there's a lot of it. Just being able to get it, your two feet in that paint uh, and have a cutting guard, cutting post. Good things are harder. Uh, that is really hard to guard. Oh, it's Parker with an answer. Getting all that attention as if uh, uh, as if she is. Pointer shot clock down to five. Pointer on the drive floats it up there, and Pointer banks it home. A high degree of difficulty shot there from Kayla Pointer. She's had a couple of tough shots here tonight. Yeah, she really has, you know. And they're such good players back and forth. Wow, Billy Alleman with the buzzer beater three to end that third quarter. Gardner's been really important for the Chicago group, as to as Cannon for Indiana. What a no-look pass. Man, they are doing such a good job. And it's Ebert who comes away with it. Five bench players on the floor right now for Chicago. Stevens running the floor. It's a runner. Yeah, you have to be able to stop the ball. Who, um, you know, who can shoot the ball. That might not be their strongest suit. But they certainly can. They do things just like that. What a great find. And Tiffany Mitchell right under the basket for a nice little uh, <laughs> under the basket play. Here's Stevens. Big shot rattles in. It's a nice little floater. I mean, clearly something that she's been working on. But as soon as she gets the ball, she's not looking to pass. Here's Smith. Great find to Robinson who rolls it in. Goss, we appreciate it. <laughs> I'm going to get those answers one way or another. <laughs> Hanksler spinning on Hebert, gets inside. Oh, the left-handed finish. It's Hanksler with a three-point opportunity. Mitchell underneath, great find that time from Robinson. And Mitchell lays it in. She's got a 25-point night going. Smith taking matters into her own hands and knocking it down. Alyssa Smith with 18 points here tonight. Shot clock down to three. Swing it. Evans on the shot fake. Evans, one extra pass, and Gardner just got rid of it. I'll say that was off in time. Stevens with the rebound and the putback. And plenty to like, especially from Mitchell and from the rookies. Just not able to get the stops on the defensive end. Mitchell, no look. It's Cannon on the receiving end. Now that was a great dime, and I, I thought. And they, uh, they did not handle it well as they got a great run with Indiana Fever. That's the final tonight. Chicago goes up by 20 after three quarters. They win it by nine.